Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Welcome to Successfully Sublimating Sequin. I am so happy that you're here. You know, I love sublimation and I'm so, so, so excited about this. I'm going to be showing you all the things that you'll need to successfully sublimate sequin. Today, I'm trying to decide which pillow I want to use. So I have a pretty pink pillow and a pretty gold one. Which one you guys think I'm going to pick? Y'all know I'm going to pick the pink one. We are going to be sublimating on this sequin pillow. It is 16 by 16, super duper cute, and we're going to sublimate on it. Now you're probably wondering, how am I going to sublimate on this? I'm going to show you how and how to do it successfully. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the items we're going to be using today and get to it. Okay, so this is the sequin pillow that I'll be using. I do have two of them. We will be doing just one today. And I got this from Amazon, okay? So this is the sequin pillow. I will be using a lint roller I also got from Amazon. If I use my heat gloves, these were also from Amazon as well. I will be using Cricut heat transfer tape and this scotch holder is from Amazon as well. I will be using butcher paper that I also got from Amazon. This will protect the image as well as my heat plate on my heat press. The paper I'll be using is Wallace Sub sublimation paper from Heat Transfer Warehouse, 120 GSM 11 by 17. And this is a sublimation paper that I'll be using today. The sublimation printer I'll be using is Sawgrass, the SG-1000 from Heat Transfer Warehouse. This is the printer I will be using today, my sublimation printer. My heat press is the Heat Press Nation Signature Series 16 by 24. It's set for 401 for 60 seconds right now. And it is 16 by 24 pull out. This will be the heat press I'm using for today's project. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, so the first step in successfully sublimating sequin, besides having the correct sublimation paper, ink, printer, and a heat press, is going to be you don't want to sublimate on this side that has the color. You want to make sure that you slide or swipe everything over to where it's showing the white portion of your sequin okay so that's the first thing that you want to do and depending on how large the image that you're going to be doing you may have to do this for the entire pillow or you may have to do it for a certain section of the pillow or whatever substrate you're using i'm saying pillow because that's what we're using today okay so i'm going to just flip these over and then if you see, you can see there's still some pink. You want to make sure that you flip those over because once you put the image on, the image will not sublimate on there or if it does, it won't be the correct color. So what you want to do is go in and I suggest using your uh, finger or your nail. You could use something else, but I just don't want to strip the sublimation coating off of the sequin. So if you already know, you know that when you sublimate, it's either 100% polyester or a high count of polyester or they have some type of polyester coating over it. So these sequin, you want to make sure that you're flipping them over. So when you put your image on there, there won't be any spots in your image and you can see everything. So this can be a little tedious. But for me, I think it's therapeutic as long as I'm not doing a whole lot of them. So you want to just make sure you're flipping them over and everything is in place. Okay. So that's what you want to make sure of. And once you get these flipped over, we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now I've successfully flipped over everywhere where my image is going to be. My image will not be over the entire pillow, so it doesn't matter. Now, you can lightly use a lint roller 
to go over it again and this will definitely help everything stay in place. Now with the lint roller, you want to make sure that this is getting any excess lint or anything that can possibly leave any type of pigmentation or color or anything onto the substrate, which is the pillow that you do not want. And you don't want it to mess up your sequin design. Okay, so that's why we do that. So now you could have done this before or after, but you want to measure the size you want your image to be, of course, before printing it out. So for the image that I'm going to be using in the area that I have available here, it can go anywhere from 12 inches by 12 inches, honestly, but I don't believe I'm going to make it that large, but that's what you could use the ruler for and make sure that everything within the space of where you're going to put the image is properly flipped over. Okay. So let's go ahead, get our design, print it out, and then we could take it to the heat. Press. So I am inside of Sawgrass Creative Studio, as you can see here. And now I am going to scroll down to 11 by 17 because that's the size paper that I'm going to be using for this particular project. Once I get there, I am now going to go ahead and upload my image. So I'm going to go to my images and I'm going to go to upload image. I am then going to upload my image from my computer into the Sawgrass Creative Studio. I selected the butterfly PNG image that is available on Do Dream On Etsy page and it was provided with this video. And I'm going to select save. Once I select save, it is going to now upload into my Sawgrass Creative Studio. Now that it's in my Sawgrass Creative Studio, I'm going to select the butterfly and now it came onto my 11 by 17 canvas. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to go to measurements and I'm going to change them from millimeters to inches. Okay, so that's what it has as my image and it's including the outline of the image. So I'm going to resize and make my image 10.55 inches all around. It has a little wiggle room. If I wanted to add any text or do anything, I could do that as well. However, I just wanted to have the butterfly on the image. Now that this is all set, now I'm going to go ahead and go to print. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that the settings are correct. So for Sawgrass, everything is set up here. I want to make sure it's online because it's saying it's offline. So I'm going to make sure that it's online with the printer. I also want to make sure that it's 11 by 17 tabloid paper. I want to make sure it's mirrored because it is sublimation. And then we want to make sure the material is correct. Okay. So for this particular material, I'm going to select polyester. And then you want to make sure that if you have a paper setting set here, that the correct paper is selected. We're just going to keep it on the classic for this. I want my color and quality to be high quality. I want the color mode to not be photographic. I want it to be vivid, okay? My color palette for this one will be disabled. And then we're gonna make sure that it's online, it's on tray one, and we can print it out once we make sure that the printer is connected to Creative Studio, okay? So now we're in the print manager print settings and we just want to make sure make sure that we have everything set up correctly. Polyester, high quality, true picks, tray one and that the mirror is checked. Okay. The layout is on the US tablet 11 by 17 paper. We're going to center it, trim the white space. And then so the actual image here is only 8.853 by 6.370. Remember when we had that extra space? So this is cool because it's not like the square where it's automatically the same size all around because it's not a square. Once you change the width, you change the height. So I want it to be 10.5 inches and then it's going to be 7.571 inches in height. And it shows the pixels and it shows you what they are. So this is really, really cool. Okay. Our color is set to vivid 
And that's what we have. Let's go ahead and press print and see how it works. I'm so excited. Okay. So now the image printed out. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Look at these colors. Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and cut around it. And then make sure that it fits on there. Okay, so now the image is cut out and then it fits where it needs to fit. I'm going to go ahead and tape it down so it won't move. Okay, make sure everywhere that it is, all the sequins are flipped over. I'm going to take my heat transfer tape and tape it down. Now, you can have it to the side because it's a butterfly, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So, if you want it to the side or angle, you can do that. But we're just going to place it in the middle. I am going to tape it down because we're going to go ahead and transport it over to the heat press. And I don't want it to move out of its place. And then you guys can meet me at my heat press. Okay, so once it's under the heat press, I do want to, you to know because this is a pillow, the actual zipper, I did not place under the heat press because I don't want to burn the zipper. Okay, so now it's on there on the actual heat press and it's ready to cover with your butcher paper. You cover the butcher paper just in case any ink comes through the paper, which it may not, and you want to save and protect your plate on your heat press, okay? So everything is covered. We're going to go ahead and press this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Okay, so now the heat press states that everything is ready. The butcher paper did come up, and if you can see, there is an imprint on the top, so that was great. So we protected our heat plate of our heat press. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it just sit for a second to make sure that the colors penetrated the item. What you don't want to do is move it too fast and then you get like a ghost effect or something with the actual ink by shifting or moving it too quick. I want it to just sit for a second, settle and get inside and penetrate the actual sequin, okay? So I'm just letting it sit for a second, not that long, but just for a second to make sure that the ink settles and penetrates the actual sequin. Once we do that, here's the moment of truth. And I'm nervous, y'all. Let's see how it looks. And you want to be careful with the tape because you don't want to pull any of the sequin up. So you just want to be careful. Now, let's. Oh my goodness. This paper. This paper is actually Wallace Sub Paper from Heat Transfer Warehouse. It's absolutely amazing. The colors from this sawgrass printer. I don't know if you can see how popping this is. I'm going to bring you in closer, but this looks beautiful. I am in love with it. So here's the paper and then here's the substrate. Now I'm going to bring you in so you can see it a little closer. Look at these colors. Now this is sequined, so it's still a little bit hot. I'm going to let this cool off and then I'm going to flip the colors up so you can get the full effect, okay? But look how beautiful these colors are. And all the sequin was the correct way, which was on the white so that it can go ahead and sublimate correctly. This looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to let this cool off because all of it is hot. It was at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So it's really hot. So I'm going to let it cool off and then I'm going to play around with the sequin, okay? Okay, so the sequin cooled down and now we're going to just play around with it. So we're going to go ahead and cover some of it up. So we're going to add a little bit of color bling around it. There you go. And you can do the whole pillow if you want, with it, however you want. Then you can stuff it, and there is your sublimation sequin pillow successfully. Look at these colors, y'all. I don't know if this letting y'all see how good these colors are popping tin. These colors are the bomb, okay? I absolutely love the way this turned out. I'm actually going to go ahead and stuff it, okay? 
Oh my goodness. I think that turned out super duper cute. Super duper adorable. Look how cute this is. Yay to successful sublimation sequin project. We did it. You guys, this project was absolutely amazing. I hope it was just as much fun for you guys as it was for me. If you have any questions, please go ahead and let me know. And I hope you guys are just as successful sublimating sequin. And that's uh, wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Holla at your girl. If you have not already, please join our Facebook group, Crafty Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, Do Dream One is the handle. TikTok, Do Dream One is the handle. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You're here. Bye. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.